Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you doing? Welcome to another beautiful day. My name is Dara Oladapo, and I have joined me today, David Abu. This is This Dev Life, a podcast about developers, their daily lives, and challenges they face and how they solve them every single day. We have brought on David on the show previously. If you missed that, go back and listen to that one or watch the video in one of the cards showing above me right now. Now, today, We'll be talking about the power platform. We'll be demystifying what it means basically and generally where you can go to get started as someone. As we know, uh, there are programmers who write code every day. There are people who don't who want to get involved in tech. You might want to say, okay, I don't want to code every day. I still want to be a developer, all those kind of stuff. Those are the things we're we'll talking about today. But I don't want to take the words from the Aussie Smart because I know it's right in power platform, but I have someone who is really good in it. When I say really good, is a cloud advocate for Power BI at Microsoft. So, David, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm yeah, good. It's nice so to have how you back you? on the show. Ah, I'm good. I'm generally well. It's it's a good start for the year. Uh, there has been many good things that have been happening so far this year. <laughs> great, great, great. Happy to hear that. Yeah. So, I, I, I know it's a Power platform advocacy world these days. Going well, I enjoyed it. It's, it's, it's just something that I love doing, helping people. Um, so, so we want to make sure that people get to understand Power Platform the more. I'm falling in love with it. So uh, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So you might want to be asking me now as our listeners, what exactly is Power Platform? I don't know. What is it about people who have power that are on the platform fighting? <laughs> no, it's not about that. But I don't want, as I said, I don't want to take the word from the Aussie Smart. So what exactly is the Power Platform, David? Okay. So Power Platform is, um, is a combination of four tools currently um, that helps mm -hmm. you to automate, analyze, and build um, applications to solve business problems. So um, Power Platform has four tools within it. Um, you have the Power BI. Power BI is the oldest among them. Um, is used for business analytics, business analysis, data analysis. So data analysis use more of Power BI to analyze and also visualize data, create reports, mm. insightful um, reports, um, and you can make informed decisions using Power BI. Then we go into Power Apps. Power Apps has to do with you building business application um, within the tenants of your company. So if there are things that you need to do that has to do with software development and you don't want to use um, the pro developers, you can just develop application within your organization and it saves you time it saves you money um we have the power automate power automate is one of the ones i say everybody should learn because it's just mm. used for automating processes so whatever you do inside your organization and you want to automate it try and find a way to automate those processes and power automate helps you to automate from outlook to excel to OneDrive to sharepoint you can automate any processes within um, within um, the, the organization. And the last one is Power Virtual Agent. So whenever you go to a website, um, your bottom right, you always see a, a bot that wants to chat with you, wants to answer questions. Mm -hmm. um, you can build yours and you can use it to connect to Facebook and all other tools within the organization also. And so it helps you. You can do a mini chatbot of you, whereby because you know that mm -hmm. people always ask questions and those questions are repetitive questions. You can mm. do a chatbot that answers those questions. So anytime anybody is asking that question, they just chat with your, with your bot and, and you're good to go and you focus on all other tools that you need to focus on. So you mean right now, uh, some someone has a website, Daradapo.com, for example, and people ask me every day, how can I contact you? I want mentorship, I do LNC shop. I could literally create a bot on my website and just slam it on in there with Power Virtual Agent and it just works. Exactly. You can you can connect that them is like awesome. that. Yeah. That is really awesome. 
Uh, you mentioned power automate. I I think I use it quite a bit. If you see my tweets at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., all those schedule tweets that you actually see coming out, that is power automate doing that stuff. And exactly. well, in my use case, it's Twitter. Uh, in exactly. some other business processes, it's actually way more than that. So way more than you, that. Yeah. So can you give us some examples of power automate that scenarios basically where you've seen power automate in use and you mentioned you use it for your attachments one time yeah and so, maybe you so, can explain, so, expand so there's so many use cases for me um my was emails so emails comes with so many attachments sometimes and you oh, need to yeah. look for attachment i know sometimes when you open the attachment you have to save those attachments so mm -hmm. you have to open it and save so what i did was to use power automate to say anytime an email comes in and it has attachment just go to a folder on one drive so everything enters into that folder. So saving time has been cut. Um, looking for it maybe after one week, two weeks, one month has been cut down. So that's mm. where productivity. So one seconds, one minute that you take out of your daily work increases to become an hour and two hours of freedom for you to do other productive mm -hmm. things. So so mm -hmm. that is another of the use case. Another use case might be whereby you are filling a form, a, a loan form, or let's say a, um, a leave form. And you when you mm -hmm. take that form, you want the form to go from your line manager to another level, higher high level line manager. And as they are doing that, it gives you reports of what they said concerning that leave request. So it's so it's so cool for you to be able to use um, when you're working. Even you can connect it to Power BI. Imagine you need to refresh your data set in Power BI service. Your Power Automate can, mm. helps you, can help you refresh it. Okay, so, uh, one thing I, I think about most times when I hear about um, people who want to write apps that do stuff, I don't want to just get into the code and I'm like, hey, hold on. The, you might not have to actually write code to do this stuff. For example, I make a scenario of when someone just an organization uh, and you want to get them uh, onboarded basically. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you need to do? Fill a form somewhere. Uh, it goes through a process. Oh, is this person I had? Yes. Go ahead, forward it to finance, forward it to HR. And then the process just goes on seamlessly. Sometimes you literally have to touch code at all. At all. Uh, some at people... All. Uh, as I know, as a pro programmer, someone like me, I want to do just write code every day. But what I realized is I'll probably spend five, six hours writing that code when I could just spend an hour creating the stuff and then test it out and then it just works. Exactly. Uh, so, and anyone can literally do it. I got on Power Automate for my tweets. I'm like, okay, I make videos. I used to make a lot of videos last year. I will still continue making a lot of videos. And I was like, when I put these videos to YouTube, I get the link. I put it on Facebook, put it on Twitter, put it on LinkedIn. That's about 10 minutes per stuff. Yeah. Unless I post four videos that week, that's 40 minutes out of my week. Gone just like that. And in the morning, I want to post video of the day. I want to post blog post of the day. I want to post intermittently during the day, maybe every four hours. I literally have to go. Those times mm -hmm. that I've saved, it's problems I can sleep more. Or I can spend more time with my family, which is very important for me. I can spend more time improving myself. Yeah. So, power to make it right. If you have M365, you literally can Can't go do and make your life better. Exactly. And this comes to Office exactly. 365 Premium also. That the personal one. I started with mm -hmm. my personal email, so it you can you can literally just get started. If you have Office Premium personal, you can actually go ahead and and do that. That is where I started. I'm like this thing is so super duper cool. It's uh, cool. You also mentioned cool. uh, Power BI. I think that is that's the oldest version of them. Uh, you use that for analytics. And people, when I say analytics, you mean I can take data from where and where. Different Maybe data Excel. sources from, let's say, Excel, SharePoint, OneDrive, Web, um, CSV, um, Dataverse, um, different, different places. You can put them and just say, okay, fine, um, connect them, get the data set, then start analyzing the reports, um, build your models, right, clean the data set, build your DAX formulas if you need to, then you build your report. Mm. You can now connect it back into um, your Power BI service where you publish to Power BI service. When you publish to Power BI service, you can even connect it to Microsoft Teams. 
Mm. So people don't need to go when they see a link. They don't need to now open Power BI anymore. Um, Power so it can BI literally be their face and their It's just beyond their face on Teams and they just continue to look at the reports without going out of Teams. So it's just like when you're on Twitter and you click a link, you notice that you are not out of Twitter. You are still inside mm. of Twitter. So that, yeah, that is just the what that video, link. whatever place inside. Yes. So the link actually makes you be inside of Teams. And that is how cool M365 is. So you are still within it. Mm. Okay. And for the fourth one, that's why I left it for the last. Probably the one people want to think about now. Now, people mm. like me who write code every day, who write scripts and stuff every day, uh, want to write some quick apps for the businesses it's not needed most times like it's just a simple app to do xyz and the data is connected to something we use every day m365 i'm all in there and i want to make my business process generally better power apps solve that like literally i can say okay people fill forms every day they view this kind of data i'm explaining stuff i'll let you do that let's explain power apps more <laughs> Yeah, so so one thing is that um, because of COVID, everybody needs to 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 do things faster. Um, mm-hmm. You can't be slow anymore. The business world is changing very very fast. High productivity is what is being asked of from everybody. So um, so whereby you need to call software developers to build, which will take you a, two weeks, one month, sometimes six months, depending. You can use low code and high productivity application platform to minimize cost and support biz, um, changing business needs so it's so mm. important so whether you have the data set anywhere so then you can just work with that and you begin to to change change and change the things and you can do them on the fly so it doesn't mean that you have to just restart no and it makes you even a developer because you're a developer but you might just Mm -hmm. not be a a pro developer but you're a citizen developer we call these people citizen developers so either you're in hr you're in um you're an accountant you're a data analyst anybody operations anybody can can use power, can be a developer. power apps. <laughs> yes, so power apps. So, so whereby you say, oh, I have this issue. My students have this issue and stuff. No, everybody. If anybody goes to customer success stories for power apps, just Google customer success stories power apps. You're going to see where different industry, health, education, um, banking, um, so mm. different construction, whereby the transportation, telecommunication, Different companies in those industry use power apps, power platform to solve their problem, business problem, and 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 they increase productivity as time goes on. Mm, that that's quite a lot. Now, I probably know if you're listening to this now, you're asking me, okay, all this stuff are cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've convinced me. Where do I go get started learning stuff? I want to become a power apps developer today. I want to start doing power by i want to start automating my tweets and my excel sheets and emails where do i go to start learning stuff so the first place you're going to is microsoft lane it's as simple as that microsoft lane google microsoft lane power platform you're going to see so many so many informations for you and you have technical modules that you can use to start and test your your um your knowledge base so, so you start from Microsoft Learn, then you follow people on YouTube, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, join community calls. You always see them online and you can join Meetup. Um, like now we have a, an event coming up next month um, um, in, in Nigeria. Even it's global event, but we have in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. You meet a whole lot of people who have power platform skills or who are starting. And from there too, also you can start. So Microsoft Learn, YouTube, Join community. Um, and yeah, follow there's David also something. Uh, uh, you can follow me. So there's also app. It's on day, YouTube also, just in case day. you don't know. Exactly. So so all those things before six months, one year, you will be very very good with Power Platform. Yeah. Now you've learned stuff. Are there some success stories you can actually point to for people who did this in six months and they probably have a job today and they're doing well? Yes, yes, yes. Um, we have people um, who were trained in Edo State, who got jobs in Lagos. Um, we mm. have people um, who changed just their career 
and they are now um, they are now in power platform as a whole. We have people. We have we have st- a whole lot of story. Just come on Twitter, you're going to see. Even me myself, I'm a story on its own. So mm. um, as a 2018, I don't think I, I don't have any skill. So Power BI gave me my first major um, major um, opportunity in career. Then it became Power Platform. The Microsoft job came in. So it's cool. So um, me, I'm talking to you. I'm, I'm a success story of what Power Platform um, can do for you. Okay, and this is not me advertising. Go learn Power Platform today. Learn about the uh, Global Pla- Power Platform Bootcamp. Register to attend. It's going to be online and in person. So you have no excuse to miss it. I will drop the link to that in the description of this podcast episode and also the video here. So be sure to generally check it out. I'll drop the link to follow David, his YouTube channel, so that you do not miss any. If you have any questions about a platform, just ping him. You know, ping him. Exactly. He will answer you. If he doesn't have the answers, he will point you definitely to someone who knows that answer. But of course, uh, uh, David is the guy now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Uh, do you have any final words of advice for people who are now interested in Power Platform before we wrap up today's episode of This Dev Life? Okay. So my advice is that calm down and learn. Take your time. Do projects. Let people see your project. Um, know how to document the things you've learned. Document your story. Document your journey. And from there, take it a step at a time. Take one one stack at a time then before you know you, you you're getting you're getting good with it thanks very much for that and that's it people on today's episode of this dev life i hope you have enjoyed it if you did if this is a video you're watching remember to give it a thumbs up if it's a podcast episode you're listening to remember to follow and subscribe to you so you do not miss any further episodes coming out until i come your way again with another interesting guest on this dev life I say stay safe and goodbye. Bye.